Here we are at the Thunderdome, where the Cowtown Guppies will take on the Long Island Lightning here on home turf. See me and Top Elite Yager in the lobby here for the Long Island Lightning. Coming to Long Island way, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm the, I have no faith, I have no falter in, uh, I have no shame in saying that. I'll, I'll kill that till it's dead. Hex Crusade Snipes popping at rest. Jakey going to be on the roster here tonight for the Cowtown Guppies. They'll be the visiting team defending the left side of your screen in the pink. Long Island Lightning looking to even up and come out 500 of this matchup. Eli, the general manager. Yager, top elite. Two great players that know how to play the defensive side. Seaman, top elite, going to be on the roster here tonight. They're on the call. No Meekers, no High Flyer, no Tovic for the Long Island Lightning here tonight. Interested to see how this lineup will look. Took a look at the previous five from these two teams. Long Island able to find a win over the Brooklyn Bandits last week. 6-7 was that score. Stars, Toronto, finding wins over Long Island. One of them being in the front office. That is the Toronto result at the bottom left. That was a forfeit loss. Uh, I think that was the schedule threat that there was not a message sent from the Long Island Lightning's uh, management team. Cowtown, on the other hand. Putting up a good fight both times around. Losing by four, losing by three against pretty dominant teams. Uh, I remember watching that Napoli game and uh, thinking the Cowtown Guppies got some work to do. They got to figure out their positioning, got to figure out their poisonous, got to figure out their uh, their spacing from one another on the ice. Maybe tonight we'll see a new Cowtown team. Um, that's up for a time, uh, a, a tale for time to tell here tonight. Take a look at the standings walking into tonight. Cowtown Guppies sitting towards the lower echelon of the uh, of the standings. I say towards. They're the rock. They are rock bottom right now. You can only go up. Maybe. Unless you're an employee from last season. But Napoli's really turned it around here this time around. Sitting with a 500 record. They're not going to be able to play New England here tonight. They were originally scheduled for this time slot. We will see them here after with a Toronto Napoli game at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. It has not been Daylight Savings Time yet. Standard Time still not being used until the winter season here in North America. But both these teams fighting for pride, fighting for glory. Top six on the schedule or on the uh, on the standings will make playoffs here after the regular season has concluded. Top two get a first round by third place plays sixth place to see who takes on second, fourth and fifth play each other in a best of three to take on the first seed in round two. Quarterfinals, semifinals, best of three. And uh, the cup finals, best of five. If this is your first broadcast here on the SPL Network, you've never watched SPL before, here's the hierarchy of the divisions in the Central and East League. Uh, the East is on your right side. It's the penultimate of all slap shot. We're watching the Major League here tonight. Each Major League uh, team is managed by a franchise. Each franchise has a minor league affiliate they can call upon. Uh, that's what the, uh, the separation in the roster is. If we flip back to the roster here real quick, thank you, production. Um, it goes general manager, their major league starting lineup, quote unquote, from the draft, essentially. And then the bottom is their their final three in the draft, which are considered their minor league starters. They can call up their minor league starters at any time. You don't you don't really have to designate it. It's just if they show up, they're playing. That's how it is. Um, going back to the other screen, thank you, production once again. Um, there's a few caveats to the pro division. We split it up into the major minor. If you're drafted in the first round, you're not allowed to play in the minor league. And if you are picked up from waiver claims after the season has started, after the draft is concluded, you draft your six starters, three for the major, three for the minor. After that, you have one waiver spot on your roster you can pick up that can only play in your minor league. They can upgrade if you drop one of your minor league uh, draftees, your, or I guess your major league draftees. You can slide up uh, after the season has started. But uh, if you pick up someone off waivers, they have to become the sixth man on your roster to uh, be able to play in the mi major leagues. Uh, if not, they're just the minor league affiliate. If you're the seventh man on a roster, you can also play in the Challenger IEM Prospect Open Division. The pre-made rosters, you can play in both the, uh, the seventh man in the minors and uh, the pre-made rosters as well. But uh, Challenger IM Prospect and the Open Division on the bottom right of your screen. All those are pre-made rosters. All those are people signing up with their friends during the registration period. We find them uh, home to play throughout the regular season. Long Island, Cowtown, top of the top, all the way up, up at the, uh, the tippity top of the totem pole here tonight. We'll see what they got for us. Crusade Hex joining the lobby here for the Cowtown Guppies. Yager, Seaman, top elite. Out there on the ice, been skating around for the past few minutes. We got three periods between these two teams here tonight. Each period is five minutes long. 
If at any point during the game we hit a 10 goal difference on the board, that is the mercy roll. We will go into the next chapter of our night with a 10 o'clock game of Toronto Napoli. We call it early. We, we're not going to let some guy... Uh, I would have stopped there. I, I had a wrong sentence in my hands. Um, if, if some team is getting blown out, um, we don't want to beat them till they're dead. Uh, I'm talking about their enthusiasm for the game. There's a lot of open teams uh, that if they just get demolished, like 23-2, to two, it's uh, it's not a good look for the team. It really discourages. So 10-goal mercy roll kind of preserves that a little bit. It's still not a great feeling when you get mercy rolled. I should know that. I feel like I am not the top of the list of mercy rolled, but I'm. I've, it's happened quite a bit during the early days of my, my career. Um, not so much nowadays. I don't remember the last time I've been mercy rolled. It could have been a week ago. I just put it out of my mind. It's not important. Still waiting for the the, uh, the last man to join the the uh, lobby for the Cowtown Guppies. Ex Crusade in here as general manager from Cowtown is also here. So if issues arise, maybe substitutions need to be made. He can make those on the fly. As thrown into the lobby chat, last one will be here shortly. Did you guys win the staring contest yet? I don't blink. You'll never see this man blink. Not, not even once. Not even a thought about it. My eyes aren't even watery. Let's take a quick look back at the Toronto area. Very nice. Take a look at the Long Island area. Very nice as well. Beautiful weather out today. It's been getting chilly out. It's almost Halloween time. Reminds me of hockey season. Hockey season being underway. Nothing better than that. Get to watch a little bit of baseball, a little bit of football, a little bit of hockey this time of year here in North America. Living the dream. They're on Sunday. The Pittsburgh Penguins and the Pittsburgh Steelers played on the same day, different time slots. I got to sit on the couch with my dad for like 12 hours that day. And I loved every minute of it. Love my dad. Oh, this is the link broken. Strange. All right, I'll fix that. Thank you for throwing that out there. I don't know why the, the Twitch link was broken. That's so strange. All right, it's, it's fixed now. It should work now. Very odd. Not sure how that happened. But at some point, the Cowtown Guppies and the Long Island Lightning will play here tonight. We have five players in the lobby. Here's the rosters that will be on the ice here for tonight. Hex Crusade already in there for the Cowtown Guppies. Their first round pick, their first round keeper in their second round pick from the draft here a few weeks ago. Long Island Lightning having Yager, Seaman, and the top elite. Top elite and Yager were their two keepers from last season. Uh, every major, every pro franchise is allowed to keep two keepers, one from the major league starters, and then one other player outside of that scope. So we take the three players that played the most major league games. You can keep one of those three players, and then you can keep one of your other four. If you do have four, you could have just three more. Not everybody has a waiver claimed player uh, to fill up their emergency spot for their minor league team. Coda Cook has corrupt Wolfie. Uh, the Toronto Turtles have Mark Dog. New England does not have one. Long Island does not have one. Napoli does not have one. Brooklyn has Chaos. Cowtown used to have Pediatric Patrick. I think it's Scarab now. And then Pennsylvania, Balpy and Hammers have Gronk as their, their substitution for their minor league. We'll be playing later on here tonight. The, the night caps off with the Pennsylvania Screwdrivers, the minor league affiliates, the Pennsylvania Balpy and Hammers. Later on here tonight, taking a look back at the schedule. Um, this originally was Napoleon, New England. Um, now we're here. It is almost 940, and the player is not in the lobby. If it gets too late, we will not be casting this game because there's a 10 o'clock game I've already committed to. Toronto Turtles, Napoleon, Neapolitans. And this was just a game I picked up on the fly. Arrest has joined the lobby. There are exactly three guppies in the lobby now. Science said it couldn't be done. Arrest later in the draft. I, I keep clicking the wrong screen. It's very early in the season. I'm I'm still not feeling my juices flowing here in the caster booth. Rest picked up fifth round here for the Cowtown Guppies. Will be starting for the Cowtown Guppies here tonight. 
Jaskin Deli meet back at home saying, oh, wow, to that decision. We'll see how they fare here tonight. Crusade, Resp Hex, you're starting three for Cowtown. Yager, Seaman, Top Elite, you're starting three for the Long Island Lightning. And whenever they're ready, we'll play some slap shot. One last look at the previous five while well, Top Elite readies himself up. Cowtown on a losing streak. Long Island finding a win. Finding a loss in the front office. Finding a win on ice. Finding a loss on the ice. So they're 1-1, 0-1, if you want to call it that way. But as soon as Top Elite has his check mark on, we'll get her down on the ice. We're going to go in here at the Thunderdome here tonight. Very beautiful day out there in downtown Long Island. Looking towards the Queens area. Six ready to rock, six ready to roll. We're down on the ice here at the Thunderdome. Long Island Lightning will be defending the right side of your screen in the blue. On the left side is the Cowtown Guppies in the pink. With the puck drop, the game is underway with this first period. Yager taking possession back in the corner. Top Elite will be the defenseman out on the ice here tonight for the Long Island Lightning. Been, uh, been testing the waters out with them throughout the offseason. Very promising stuff out there for Long Island here tonight. Good save right off the crack of the bat from Resp. So far, perfect. We'll see how long it lasts. One of the top save makers back from season four, I believe, was the first time he went pro. Yager here takes it away. Forehand shot. Nice block there by Crusade. Off to the near side wall. Seaman tries to get his hand on it. Looking down towards that near side. Yager. Here's Seaman. Stopped by Crusade. Crusade fans on it. Top elite comes towards the near side. Tries to find a way to get that one out of the gutter. Get that one out of the danger lane. Down the straights. Goes off to the hands of Resp here with it now. Off the backhand. Wearing the goalie mask. Wearing the ghost head. Here's Hex, backhand shot wide of the cage. Top elite here with possession now for Long Island. Leans near side, cuts to the far. Here's Seaman with an out. Forehand shot, scores off the top shelf where you keep the peanut butter, and it's two or it's one nothing on the second shot of the game. Good pull back at the point, rest there, biting on it. Not able to lead the man on the dash. She comes as she goes, nice shot off the drop of the puck. Not able to find the twine though. 60 seconds into the game, one nothing our score. Long Island on top. Here's Crusade, near side, gets a bounce, finds his way top side, looking for Hex, leading goal scorer from last season, not able to find him on the stick. Here's Hex with it once more, forehand shot down towards the near side, Crusade looking top side. Actually, I don't think Hex was the leading goal scorer last season, I think it was the season prior. I'm still thinking of season 14. He was the leading goal scorer of season 13, whenever he won the championship with Long Island. Here's top elite, top side, stopped there by Hex, pulling, shooting, nice block there by top elite right from the crack of the bat. So he takes that one back on the defensive end wall. Top Elite starts to break out here for the Long Island Lightning. Goes off to the near side wall. Nobody there. Here's Resp with it now. Resp off the back end. Fed over to Hex. Good stick check there by Top Elite. Hex taking it right back for the boys in pink. Leads Resp top side down the straight. Not able to find it to the hands of Crusade. Top Elite bringing this one back for Long Island. Near side. Seaman with a shot goes wide. Yager chases after. Gets it back down low. Seaman looking to wheel him. Deal him. Back to the point. Yager here with it now. Forehand back end. Tries to dangle his way through. Crusade there stopping him with the hip. Sending it into the far side corner. Hex, stuck defensively, no one to pass to. Back to the near side, Yager back to the point, stopped there by Hex. Hex here off the backhand, fed along to Crusade, off the backhand, shot towards the cage, not on. Top elite, defends well. Hex takes it away. Backhand, forehand, wants to find the lane out in front, never to see it. Good try on the pass to Seaman, finds Resp from Cowtown. Resp off the forehand, near side, stopped there by Yager with the takeaway. Yager just trying to get the puck to work with him. Looks near side. Seaman with a shot. Goes barely wide off the near side. Here's Rest with it once more. Down behind his own end wall. Here's Crusade. Leans near side on the breakout. Blue line, red line. Fed over to Hex. Off the backhand. Forehand. The dangle continues near side. Yager takes it away for the boys in blue. Leading that charge topside from the point. Seaman dangles. Pulls. Shoots. Hits the post off the far side. Net goes into the corner. Seaman picks it right up where he left off. Crusade taking a few swats at the puck, not able to knock it loose. Seaman along the board, centering feed, goes off to the near side point, top elite here after it. Rest there, trying to win the body position. Crusade finds the loose puck in his favor. Leans top side here on the breakout for Kowtow. Crusade from the blue line, finds Hex down in the corner. Hex trying to find it back to the point, handles it over to Crusade. Crusade fed slowly over to Hex along the wing. Crusade pulled back, top side, stopped Yager. Yager from the point, forehand shot, nice save by Rest. Goes off Crusade to the near side point. Back in the Cowtown zone. Seaman throws it back defensively. Top elite back to the center. Seaman in the near side corner of Cowtown. Brought out to the neutral zone. Shot made. Blocked away. Crusade to the top side wall. Yager tries to keep it alive. Hex with it. Top elite tries to knock him off kilter. Hex from the hip. Yager with the puck. 
Bringing this one back defensively, down behind the end wall. Goes over to the hands of Crusade, pulling, shooting. Nice save there by Top Elite, hugging the near side post. Able to stop the first shot on the board. From the Cowtown Guppies, here's Crusade. Well, the backhand shot goes whiffling wide. Here's the hands of Hex. Dangerous man to be left alone with the puck. Yager with the pressure. Goes off Crusade, centering feed. Out to the far side outer wall. Top Elite here with an out. 56 to go here in the first. Backhand shot goes through traffic, and that goes in off the body of Yager. Able to get enough contact on the defenseman to throw him off the lane. Good piece of contact there by Resp. Not able to hit it square enough to slow it down before it hit the goal line. 52 seconds to go, three shots, two goals. Long Island on top by two. Here's Crusade top side, able to find Hex along the wall. Fed down center, goes over to Yager. Yager, forehand feed, near side and wide. Here's Crusade taking that one away for Cowtown. Hex top side from the point, has one mid to beat, then two. Nice stop there by Top Elite, staying in the shot lane. Here's Resp with 30. Looking for Crusade near side, fed a little bit wide. Hex there challenging him to go back near side. Yager has some elbow room. Nice stick check by Crusade, centering feed a little bit too far behind Hex on that one. It was more about how quick could he do it, not so much where is he putting it. Seaman le leads Yager a little bit too far. He'll be the first man to it, though. Good area pass, shot made, and that one goes in. He's got two here tonight for the Long Island Lightning. Four shots, three goals, they're up by three here with 10 seconds remaining. Seaman, great reception from Yager, shot in the corner. The silky hands coming a long way here tonight for the boys in blue. Crusade leaning topside, stopped there by Seaman. Chops that wood right back to the near side corner of the Cowtown zone. Rest here with it now. And that'll be the end of the first period of action. 3-0 here at the Thunderdome here tonight. At the end of five minutes. Got 10 more to play. A lot of ball left to be matched up with. Seven blocks, three saves. Cowtown's defense been tested here tonight. All three saves coming from the hands of Resp. Yager with one. Seaman with two here tonight. Top elite playing a good defensive game for the Long Island Lightning. We'll see if he can keep it up. This regulation keeps on keeps on going. Keep it on, keep, keeps on keeping on. That's what I was going for there. 28 seconds of possession time. Top Elite has the majority on his team and tied for the majority of the lobby. Hex with 28 on the other side of the ice. And that's all I got for you. Six ready to rock, six ready to roll. We're back down on the ice. Goutsound defends left side once again in the pink. Long Island Lightning will be on the right side of your screen in the blue. Puck dropped, the game's underway. It's a squabble right from the dropped puck. Goes off to the near side in the Long Island zone. He fed out against the wall. Here's Seaman. Crusade shot scores! And the Countdown Guffies on the board here early in the second. Good opportunity. Came a knocking off the stick of uh, Seaman back on the defensive side. Top elite not thinking that was quite what was going to happen. Was not ready for the shot. Good pressure. Good pow. Good Countdown slap shot. Top Elite back in the defensive side. Taking his time with the puck, getting to know it, taking it out for dinner as he goes top side over to Yager. Handed back on the defensive side. Crusade getting a piece on that transition. Crusade almost picks off another pass. Here's Hex top side for Cowtown. Top Elite here with a backhand feed. Look for Yager back at the end wall. Crusade Hex from the top side point. Tries to get past one. That one being Yager. Tallest glass to finish down there on the ice. Crusade good stick checks. And we'll open it up back to the point. Hex with a forehand fan. Not able to get that one on target. Here's Hex with it now. Yet again in the corner. Able to get it back towards the point. Trying to get that shot lane to open up. Yager, great pressure on this back check. Off the backhand. Shoot. Yeah, almost able to get it to go. What a deflection by Seaman. Able to get that one on target, but a better save by Rest. I don't know how he read him, but he was like a Dr. Seuss book to him. Looked effortless. Top elite here back at his own end wall. Looks top side. Able to find Seaman in stride. Here's Rest with it now. Nice shot better blocked by his own teammate. Hex in the corner, trying to get it back to the point. Rest with a shot, goes off Yager over to Top Elite with the rebound to the near side. Top Elite, forehand pass, Seaman in the wing, not able to shoot that one on target. Good block there by Rest. Hex goes top side, here's Rest with it yet again. Looking to turn that a favor near side. Hex pulling, shooting, goes off the stick of Yager and then to Seaman with control. Shot made, yeah, what a save. Yet again, another one, six shots on goal. Three saves so far, nice save by Top Elite on the other side of the ice, Rest, Top Elite. Old tenders here tonight, showing us what they've got. Hex there takes it away, backhand, not able to get the feet out in front. Good defense by Top Elite, getting physical when he was needed most. Top Elite here with the puck yet again for the Long Island Lightning, leaning down towards the near side of the screen. Goes over to Yager, shot made. Or maybe that was a centering feed to Seaman, not entirely sure. Either way, Crusade able to snuff that one out. Good stick check by Seaman, gets himself some separation against Hex. 
As that shot goes wide, Crusade takes the rebound out for Cowtown. Two on two here for the Cowtown Guppies. Shot made topside and wide over to Crusade. Crusade leans topside, hands the mail off to Hex to deliver. Hex here pulling, shooting far side and wide. Here's Crusade in the corner, keeping the Cowtown dream alive. See, man, Hex getting a piece. Yager poked loose, goes over to Crusade near side to rest. Stopped there by Yager. Yager has better body position. Hex steals, not able to get the puck to roll off the tip of the stick to the blade to get that shot on target, so he never let go of it. Crusade pulling, shooting near side, and that one goes off to the hook. And the hockey god Jeremy laughs in his chair. Top elite leading pass. Yager fights for it, wins, goes off towards the forehand. Shot made, what a save by Resp. Read that all the way into the glove. Rest near side off the board, stopped there by Yager, lets it simmer on the pan handle for a second there. Here's Hex, forehand shot, hits the post, comes out in front. Hex able to pick it up, leans it out to the near side wing, that one goes off to the far side wall in the shot attempt. From the corner, top elite throws it neutral. Crusade here picks it up for Katan, throws it back defensively, leaves Resp with the puck. On three, our score, 150 to go here in the second. Long Island in the lead. Leading pass, here's Hex. Hex pulling, shooting off the post, and not able to tuck it away. Good save there by Top Elite. Able to swing it out from the blue paint. Hex pulling, out in front, shooting, scoring. Oh, what a play. Oh, what an angle. That man right there, pure untapped skill and talent. The silkiness of the hands. He's like a kitten down there on the ice with the stick. 3-2 our score, they cut it down to one. Resp looking near side, then to the far. Nobody open with the lane for a pass. This elects for the top side. Yager steals, shoots, scores. Good. Great. Beautiful stick checking by Seaman. Back between the pipes. Kept Resp off the paint. Never gave him the shot lane. And that will generate a goal every time he can get the stuck on Yager's stick. If, if Yager and Blue are on the same team, I think it'd be unstoppable. That's my two cents. That's my opinion. Whether or not you like it, there you go. 113 to go here in the second for two our score. Long Island able to pull themselves back up by two again here in this midsection period. Yager near side, trying to lean with a rock with it. Finds his way back towards Seaman from the hip. Good stick check by Hex, trying to open that one back up. 60 to go here in the second. Here's Hex with it now. Off the backhand, sent down to the near side outer slot. Going over the hands of top elite, back beyond the goal line. Hex able to get body position on this one. Wanted the point pass, Seaman not going to pressure, just going to lean back, play him soft. Knew that the pressure was going to come from the other angle. Good defensive decision there by Seaman. Hex out in front. Crusade dangles. Oh, man, he's dangerous out there. Give the man the puck in the slot. 80% of the time, it's a goal. The other, other uh, what did I say, 80%? The other 20% of the time, top elite making that save. Nice shot goes wide off the near side. Here's Resp with it now. Goes over to Seaman. Seaman tries to retain the puck top side. He does. Resp there to try to take away that centering feed. Seaman hits the stick of Hex through the neutral zone. Back defensively. Here's top elite back beyond his own goal line. Starting the breakout here for the Long Island Lightning with 15 to go. Here in the second, Yager with a try towards the cage, goes wide to the far side corner. Seaman, Yager, not able to take it on the curve of the blade. Seaman, throwing back down low. Yager, the first touch on the puck, Crusade keeps it low. That's the end of the second. Ten minutes in the book, 2-4 our score here at the Thunderdome. Home team leading, named Long Island. Shots are 10-7. to seven. And the defense is feeling the vast majority of them on both sides of the ice. 18 block shots from Long Island's defense. Good stuff there. Quick to the challenge with the puck. Quick to the shooter with the stick. You love to see it. You got to do it. We're back down on the ice here for the third period of action. A six are ready to rock and six are ready to roll. Cowtown defends the left side of your screen in the pink. Long Island defends right side in the blue. Crusade immediately with that shot. Not able to find pay dirt. Here's Hex with it now. Trying to wheel this one down towards the near side. Hex just not able to get the stick on the ice. You saw it waggling down there. Just wanted to find a way. If you lift, if you've never played this game before, if you lift the stick, the stick is over the puck. And you let go of the lift stick button. A lot of the times it's left mouse click. Controller, it's different for everybody, I feel. Um, if you let go of that button, the stick will not drop back onto the puck until it has a chance to do so. And so uh, that's what was happening to Hex down at the end wall there. And, you know, sometimes you feel like the margin of error it's just a little bit too much, and you can't get the stick back down when you feel like it should. Crusade trying to drive in. Stopped there by Seaman on the top wall. And sometimes a little frustrating. I felt the frustration from Hex. Don't know how Resp defended that. He, he was beat 10 times out of 10 there, except there was 11 tries. Hex with a shot. What a goal. Couch on Guppies back within one. Thanks to that man. Down smack dab in the middle of the ice, showing us what talents he's got. He's got, ace of sl he's got sleeves of aces. He's playing the feud like Steve Harvey here tonight. Four minutes even 
to go here in the third period of action. They got to get one more if they want back into overtime range. Here's Rest with the now. Near side goes over to the hands of Hex. Hex has to battle against Yager. Former teammates jousting it out the red line. Yager wins back in just barely behind the hands of Seaman. He will get possession back on the top side wall. Crusade able to fill that one loose. Yager not able to beat the sandwich on the top side wall between Hex and Crusade. Crusade here with it now. Second round draftee here for Cowtown. Finds Resp back behind his own cage with it now. Looks top side. 3.27 to go. 3-4 our score. Looking to tie us up with his next drive. Hex here looking near side. Nice shot goes off Seaman. Off to the far wall. Shot made. Nice save. Top elite ready for it. He was fiending for the save. Out in front. Yager, what a save by Resp. Out in front, stacking the pads like Dominic Hasek. Here's Hex with it now. Goes over to the hands of Seaman. Resp feeling it. He's got the confidence up. You can see it in his commitments. Crusade pulls it away. Yager trying to walk away from Hex. Hex not making it easy for him. Off the back end. Fed out in front. Goes off the hip of Seaman to the top side slot. Seaman picks it up. Just hip checked into the next week. What a hit by Resp. Here's Resp. Backhand shot goes into the near corner. Hex down low. Top elite. Off the wall. Resp picking it up. Not able to get it past Yager. They battle it out on the near side wall. Gets it down low into the Long Island end. Here's Crusade, top side corner, tries to get it out in front of the paint, but not able to find any cookies to crumble there. Seaman, top elite, good defense. Good passing so far here tonight. Hex with a shot, what a save by top elite. Digs himself out of that ditch. Here's Hex down to the corner. Forehand pass, Crusade pulls, shoots. Nice block twice in a row by Seaman on uh, Crusade's shot attempts. Resp gets beat, but he's, he's the beater. He gets back there. I don't think I should have said that. I could have worded that like 99 different ways, and that's the one I picked. Here's Yager, stolen Hex. Hex with an almost breakaway. One-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Not able to get the shot off in time. Here's Crusade. Hex shot near side. Not able to find it on target as it goes off to the far side corner. Rest down low. Here's Hex with it now. Hex, forehand shot. Nice block off the backhand of the top elite. Back between the pipes. Here's Crusade. Challenged by one. Yager wins it. Near side, far side. Down the straights. Going for the shot. Not able to find it. As it goes into the near side corner. Here's Rest with it now. With 144 to go here in regulation. Hex, down low for Cowtown. Going off top elite. Yager, down low in the Long Island end, trying to fish that one free. Crusade with a shot, goes off the near side of the cage and wide. That one's controlled in the corner. Here's Seaman with it now. Leading pass for top elite, not able to find him. Rest there, trailed by Yager with a quick release. Able to get that one back to the neutral zone. Here's Hex going to work. Sh near side, shot made, not able to find it. Good stop there by Seaman. Cowtown's offense picking it up here in the third period. If they played like this from the get-go, this game wouldn't even be close. Nice block there by Resp, throwing it back out the other way with the rebound control. Doesn't want to be found with the puck on his stick whenever Yager gets within range of him. Your last man back, you got to play safe sometimes. Good calls by Resp so far here tonight. Resp with 60 seconds to go here in this third period of action. Down by one, they got to get one, if not two. Seaman. Shot made off the end wall. Here's Resp with it now. Resp top side looking for the bank pass over to Hex. Hex here pulling back in forehand. Shot made blocked away. Seaman. Seaman with a shot. His far side corner into the Cowtown end. Resp there tries the centering feed to start the break at the Crusade. But a good stop there by the back check of Long Island. Here's Crusade through the neutral zone. Forehand pass looking for Hex down in the corner. Stopped along the Long Island end wall. 30 seconds remain here in regulation. Got to find at least a shot. You got to pepper the goalie to score the goal. Here's Hex with it now. Tries to dangle out in front. Stop there by Seaman. All three blue jerseys on the back of that man. On the far side wall. Rest with a shot. Blocked away near side. Here's Crusade with it now for Cowtown. Forehand shot goes off the hands of Seaman. Yager tries to get this one out. Rest with a shot. Nice save by Top Elite. Keeping the team alive and the dreams of the win intact. Seaman top side leading pass for Yager. Good stop there by a Hex off the forehead. Top Elite down low. Yager with a shot. Hits the side of the cage with three seconds remaining. And that will be all she wrote. Long Island hanging on late in the game. Able to keep that win intact. 4-3 our score here at the Thunderdome. And giving the home crowd something to cheer about here this season. Long Island able to get her done in regulation. Beautiful stuff down there on the ice. Great shots, great goals in every way possible. Long Island able to come out of tonight 500. Five, two wins, two losses with that last result. Hex with two goals. Crusade with one for the total of three for Cowtown. And all seven saves were from the hands of Resp. He also had nine blocked shots at the end of regulation. Two for Seaman, two for Yager here tonight for Long Island. And a beautiful eight saves from the top elite. Give that man a band-aid because he's going to be bruised tomorrow. Twelve blocks on top of that out of their 28. Great defense from Long Island. Great defense from Cowtown. But that's all she wrote here for tonight. For now, thank you for tuning in to the SBL Network. My name is Darth Hexel, and we'll be right back for the Toronto Turtles taking on the Napoli Neapolitans right after the break.